My name is Sue Callison. I have lymphedema from breast cancer treatments, and I'm also the founder of Soul Day Medical. Um, when I first developed lymphedema, I was prescribed the traditional 2030 compression sleeve, but it actually ended up making my situation worse. It created a fluid bulge in my shoulder, which was causing just a constant ache, and uh, it was also causing some weakness in my hand. And at the time, I had a two-year-old, and I just thought, like, this just can't be, this just can't be it. So after I tried to find if there was anything else that I could do, um, I ended up going on a global search, just looking for some, some answers to, you know, how I would be able to better manage this condition. And uh, it ended up that I found this small um, compression manufacturer in Italy named Soledea, and I discovered one of their fabrics, Active Massage, had incredible properties for moving um, lymphatic fluid. And up till that point, from everything I knew about compression, that compression garments were not meant to help move fluid. They were basically just meant to contain um, the limb. So this just led me on a really new way of thinking about how I wanted to manage my lymphedema. Um, so I guess what we should do is just start by talking about how I look at lymphedema. So when we go through certain cancer treatments like um, having nodes removed or radiation, our lymphatic system is basically changed forever. Um, but for me, instead of focusing on what I've lost, so the nodes underneath my arm, um, I believe in focusing on what still remains. So our lymphatic system is a huge system that runs throughout our entire body. And even though part of our no or part of our lymphatic system is now missing in certain sections of our body, that doesn't mean that it's all gone. So since it's not all gone, um, it's probably it's not working as well as it did before having, you know, cancer treatments, but you know, it's still working. So um, it's just I guess it's just not really working, I'm sorry, it's quite as well as it worked before. So when it comes to dealing with post-cancer lymphedema, I feel that we should really focus on the remaining lymphatics and uh, helping them to work to the best of their ability. And luckily, you know, there's really a lot that we can do as um, patients of lymphedema. So I just wanna pause here for a minute too and say if you have primary lymphedema, this is a bit different than lymphedema caused by cancer treatments. However, if your lymphatic capillaries are still intact and functioning, all I'm about to talk about is uh, gonna be helpful for you too. If you don't know, you can definitely try some of the techniques I'm gonna be discussing and see if they make a difference. If they make a difference, that means that you do have capillaries that are functioning. So um, I would then recommend really focusing on enhancing the function of um, those lymphatic capillaries. So with lymphedema, the important thing is the sooner you start taking care of it, the better long-term results you're gonna have. And hopefully um, the less this lymphedema or your lymphedema is gonna have an effect on your life. So I think here we should just talk about a few things about lymphedema um, and treatment. So therapists are a really important part of treatment and management, sorry, <laughs> but um, you are also a really important part of taking care of yourself. There's a lot that you can do to be an active participate in, participant in managing your lymphedema, and that can really help you feel a lot better. The frustrating thing about lymphedema is there's really no one-size-fits-all treatment or management. So this can be really, really frustrating, but stick with it until you find what works for you. So, because sometimes what works for one person really might not work so well for uh, somebody else. And it really takes a lot of trial and error until you find the right garment, the right routine, you know, all the, the different aspects of how you can care for yourself that's gonna work best for you. Um, the reality is there's no cure for lymphedema and it is um, progressive. So over time, you might have to alter or change your routine or your garments to fit how you know, your lymphedema might be progressing or changing. But always remember that anytime you can improve lymphatic function, it's gonna make you feel a whole lot better. Um, okay, so I think now what we should do since um, I'm the founder of Soul Day Medical and I bring in active massage compression garments um, to 
help with this condition, I think it's a great time to talk about a little bit what's the difference between active massage and traditional compression. So up until active massage, the goal of compression therapy has always been to stop the affected limb from increasing in size. And this has been accomplished by using tight garments, you know, as that means of control. There's a few issues with um, tighter compression. Number one, usually they're pretty hard to get on. Number two, and this was the experience I had, some many times they actually squish the fluid that's in the tissues out of the affected area and push it to different areas. So if you have lymphedema in your arm, you might notice that fluid is not in your arm, but it's kind of building up in your chest or in your back um, or kind of down your side. If you have leg lymphedema, you might notice it's starting to bulge above where the um, the compression garment ends, sometimes you get a fuller stomach. You know, these are all signs that fluid is being pushed into areas where the compression, um, I guess, where there's no compression. So, and like I said, for me, the compression pushed up and then I just had a really big ball of fluid <laughs> above my sleeve. Um, the other part with uh, compression is sometimes it's really uncomfortable. Sometimes it doesn't look so great. And overall, I think when you're wearing tight compression, it doesn't make you, you know, it doesn't really make you feel so hot. But at this point, I always need to say that for some people, this tight compression is gonna be your option and what's gonna work best for you. Again, everybody has to find what works best for them. Um, okay, so now let's talk about active massage. Active massage functions on a very different idea. It's actually meant to help stimulate lymphatic flow to help reduce swelling. So this is how it works. Really basically, the lymphatic system um, takes up excess fluid through the capillaries, which is right beneath your skin. And these capillaries run on a very low amount of pressure. So the more pressure you put on them, the more they're not able to function. Um, so these capillaries take up the fluid and then they are connected to larger vessels which transport the fluid out of the affected area. Um, the goal of active massage is to try to get as much fluid that's free in your tissues back into the lymphatic system. That way, the hope is, is that once you get the fluid back into those capillaries, those capillaries are gonna connect to vessels that might you know, find pathways around where the, um, around where the damage has been done and help you know, reduce the, the fluid within that limb. Um, so really the idea behind active massage is to help support your body's natural function um, for moving fluid. So really to support the natural function of your lymphatic system. Um, so in order to do this, active massage compression um, combines an innovative 3D wave knit. So, uh, shoot. Okay, well, the only thing I have is here. I can fold it back. So hopefully you can see. So see these little um, ridges. So basically there's high points and low points on the inside of the fabric and it creates this pattern on my skin. So how this works is that that 3D fabric combined with lower compression, so basically they're not so tight, that every time I move, it basically gives a gentle massage to my capillaries. And the capillaries really kind of run on a vacuum. So when you squish them, they collapse and then when you move off them, they open up. And when they open up, that's when it takes in the fluid that's around them. So by wearing active massage and moving, you generally help to move fluid around and hopefully help that fluid find capillaries that can take the fluid back in. So right off the bat, you can know that if you're not very mobile, then this active massage fabric is probably not gonna be the right choice for you. And, um, and it's really you know, a lot of trial and error in trying to see if you're able to stimulate those um, capillaries to take up enough fluid to reduce the size of your limb. Um, okay, so if you wanna see kind of the change that Active Massage had for me, in the download that's available to you, there's a picture on the Sol Day Medical side of what my arm looked like um, before using the Active Massage and then after. Um, so that can kind of give you an idea why I'm so passionate and interested in um, letting people know that there are more options in terms of compression, you know, based on your situation um, available. Let's see. Okay. All right. So I guess now we're, we're on to um, what else you can do. So compression is part of the answer for dealing with lymphedema, but there's really a lot more to it if you really want to manage it well. 
So compression, like I said, compression is one part of it. You should wear your compression as much as you can tolerate it throughout the day. Um, for me, nighttime, in my belief, if your limb goes down during nighttime, you don't actually need a nighttime garment. But if your limb stays the same or increases throughout the night, then you know a nighttime garment is probably a good idea. Um, okay, so other things that you can do to really uh, help the lymphatic system and things that I found were really beneficial, number one has to be physical activity. Um, exercise isn't like the exercise you would do when you were younger, you know, for looks. It's more now for health. So when it comes to lymphedema, gentle exercise is going to be your best bet. Um, what I find, I find swimming to be the number one best exercise um, for lymphedema, basically because water has natural compression. So when you're in the water, you basically get full body compression. Um, and Something that I do is I actually deep dive into the deep end of the pool, and when I dive down, there's even more pressure down there, and that really helps to create, um, I'm sorry, to cleanse my lymphatics. So I feel a lot better after I swim. If you're not comfortable swimming or you don't have access to a pool, other things that you can do, you can walk, you can do gentle yoga, stretching, really any type of movement that you can do is going to be helpful. If you're bed bound, still do, you know, do exercises in bed. There's plenty available um, through lymphedema therapists that you can do to help your lymphatics because the lymph, I'm sure that you know, really has no central pump. Like the circulatory system has the heart. The lymph system doesn't have that. So physical, so movement is very helpful for lymphedema. And then also the other thing that's really helpful is your body's natural way to also help um, move fluid is deep breathing. So I always, throughout the day, take a moment, and when I'm exercising in particular, I do deep breaths. So you want to do deep breaths, and you do them in, th in through your nose, and you want to feel like basically your belly button pushing out while you breathe. And then I, I breathe in and out through my nose. I find that to be the most helpful. So throughout the day, if you can take three or four deep breaths here and there, you know, that's going to help move lymphatic fluid, cleanse your lymphatic system, get things moving, you know, always makes you feel better. The other thing I find very helpful when it comes to managing lymphedema is self-massage or going to a trained um, lymphedema therapist. And self-massage really helps to clear lymphatic pathways, keep things moving. I find it um, a very important part of managing lymphedema. I didn't do it for a long time when I was first diagnosed. I think I was so hurt and upset that I developed lymphedema that I basically refused to do anything except to wear my garments. But as I said, over time, lymphedema, even if you're managing it, can still slowly progress, which is unfortunately what has happened for me. And um, in terms of keeping everything under control, I find self-massage to be a very important part of my daily routine. Um, maintaining a healthy weight. This is also really important. I know nobody wants to talk about this. I know that when I came off cancer treatments, you know, I was in a very different boat than before. I was kind of, you know, I was, I was tired. I was, you know, I put on some extra weight. I was not eating good foods. But when it comes to managing lymphedema, weight plays a big role in your body's ability to pick up that lymphatic fluid. So the, the larger fat cells are, unfortunately, the more fluid can hide from um, capillaries that can pick up that fluid. So, you know, the, the more that we control our weight, the more it helps our body, you know, move lymphatic fluid. Um, another thing that I found is what I eat really plays a big role in how, um, how it affects my lymphedema. I definitely stay away from salt. Um, I try to stay away from as much processed foods as possible because the chemicals, you know, it's your lymphatic system that, that basically takes care of those chemicals that you're ingesting. And so that puts a little bit more of a strain on your body. Also, I try to eat more whole foods, you know, um, fruits, vegetables, nuts. All of them have natural um, anti-inflammatory properties. They it, you know, properties that help make you pee. Peeing is wicked important when it comes to lymphedema. Um, so whole foods are really an important part of uh, managing lymphedema, whether you juice, you do smoothies, you eat it, however you can get them into your body. You know, I just say do it to the best of your ability. Um, 
let's see. Also, be sure to drink a lot of water. Water is really important for keeping your lymphatic system functioning smoothly. And one thing that I don't hear mentioned a lot that I find really important is to get your rest. Lymphedema definitely makes you a little bit more tired if you have lymphedema. So um, resting is important because it lets your lymphatic system recharge. Um, you don't have gravity working against you as when you're standing up. And, you know, resting is just all around, you know, important for health. So I know this list and probably all that I'm talking about, if you haven't started this kind of routine in your life, can seem really overwhelming. I think the important thing is to really start somewhere. You don't have to do everything all at once. Every change you make is gonna make you feel a little bit better. When you exercise, um, consistency and um, doing things daily is really the most important in consistently managing lymphedema. I personally live by the 80-20 rule. This way, um, if 80% of the time I'm doing what I'm supposed to and 25% of the time I slip a little bit, you know what, that's okay. Um, I guess the 80-20 rule really helps me to get back to doing what I know is going to help me with lymphedema. So um, let's see. I guess if you want to know really, you know, for me, what it takes every day to feel normal from when I wake up, I think the biggest problem I've had with lymphedema, and I know there are medical professionals who can't say that this is possible, but I think there's myself and a lot of people I've spoken to have this, is that I wake up every morning with brain fog, and if I don't clear my lymphatics, that brain fog, not only does it not go away, it gets worse, it gets worse throughout the day. And that brain fog will cause me to, you know, I have really low energy, I get confused easily, I forget things. You know, it really basically, I don't know any other way to say it, but basically it really sucks. So... Um, so every day it takes a lot for me to get to where I can feel normal. But even though sometimes that really frustrates me, in the end, you know, I feel lucky that there are things that I can do, you know, to clear my lymphatics and to help me, you know, live a nicer quality of life. So when I first start in the morning, I have to do some self-massage. And so that's, I clear my, you know, I clear my nodes here. And then basically I start and I do little stretches of my skin, you know, to help get that lymphatic fluid draining out of my head. So that's the first start. That's the start of it. And then from there, I will usually walk about 15 minutes on my treadmill on an incline, not fast, but just slow, steady, and consistent. Usually watch the news, you know, figure out what's going on for the day. Um, then from there, I will either do a gentle strength routine or um, I'll walk on, or I'm sorry, or I'll do um, a stretching um, routine. So I'll kind of alternate between those two. And then from there, I always swim and I swim, you know, for about 15 minutes and I primarily do the freestyle and the breaststroke. I find them, they're both very helpful in kind of getting my lymphatics again, moving, functioning, you know, you get the drift, like moving and getting those lymphatics is the most important thing you can do for yourself. Um, after that, I tend to do, I do between eight and 10 deep dives into the deep end and um, where I just basically dive down, I stay down for as long as I can, and then I come up. When I come up, I think that combination of that deep pressure and then those deep inhales I make from holding my breath all really help just get that, you know, get everything moving. Um, when I get out of the pool, I can definitely tell, I can feel, I can literally feel my, you know, my lymph moving. So I thought, you know, to finish it up, some of the signs, um, that my lymph is building up is definitely that feeling of the brain fog, the confusion. Sometimes my finger joints are tight. Um, I get a sort of funny, tingly feeling in my body. And then the biggest thing is I'm really unmotivated and tired. Um, so after I work out or while I'm working out, you know, and sometimes I really have to force myself to work out because I really don't want to, but I've learned that if I just do these things, I'm going to feel way better after, and actually I'm going to have a lot better of a day if I do this to start my day. Um, so the first thing that I notice is my um, nose starts running. I see I'm running out of time. Um, and then I just basically get a good, a good feeling throughout my body. So I'm going to wrap this up because my 20 minutes is done. And I just want to say thank you so much for spending this time with me. Um, 
If you'd like, down you can download a questionnaire um, to see if active massage is good for you. If you're interested in the active massage, please visit soledayamedical.com. If you want to connect to me a little bit more, um, join my Facebook group, My Lymphedema Life. Um, I'm definitely here to help in any way that I can. Again, thanks for spending the time with me, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.